I believe this one is a two-story one. You know what's upstairs then? Oh, you know? Yeah, see guys, you, you see the oh, sorry, man. Um, This one is a two-story one, so they gotta have probably a car park, a uh, parking lot upstairs. Um, now, Hi, morning, hey, how are you? Yeah. All right, so, we got the pro services right up here. All right, and then that door is probably open in the summer. Um, you know, just to probably alleviate some of the traffic from the main gate. Um, yeah, you see these guys busy here. One, two, three, four. Oh, wow, six, two, four, six. Uh, checkout station. Now you got two rentals. Wow, that's a nice big tool rental. Wow, yeah. You can imagine, guys, the the density of the city of Chicago, especially up here, where on the south side, uh, you have a lot of uh, new construction, and also you have um, areas, um, you know, that have been desolate for umpteen hundred years. Um, and, and they're now just taking off with the construction and even, even in, you know, the, on the coldest day, even on the coldest day, uh, so far this year, you can see the stores are, uh, full. The, the construction, you know, construction season in Chicago never, never, never really, um, dies. Um, although it does slow down and a lot of the, the unions a lot of the unions what they do is they actually um, transport or transfer a lot of their employees uh, down to the warmer states so they can continue working and get a uh, get a pretty decent salary because if you're a privately owned and operated um, enterprise you know you can do as you please and uh, of course work whenever you you really like right because you're self-employed but if you're working as part of you know as part of a union um when you're working as part of a union then um you know then uh, unions have these rules and bylaws and and sometimes when it drops below zero which is very you know very often the unions actually stop working and some unions especially the um the outside um the, the sort of the building materials that are placed outside like um say carpent well carpentry not so much but uh any exterior works um pretty much dies uh pretty much dies down or they absolutely do not work over the entire winter uh, because you know you got to be outside you got to be outside eight nine hours a day which could which could be um, could be detrimental to some people's health uh, but anyways guys uh, look at that so yeah I mean this store is amazingly huge so you got your big flooring department here and decor and your kitchens um so yeah guys uh uh what else yeah let's let's take a look at the floor and wall coverings here and this is an amazingly huge selection here so if you're ever down in these neck of the woods, uh, you come down here, wow, and you'll find, you will find quite the selection. Hey, how you doing, man? All right. Um, so you will find, a, wow, look at these. Oh. Um, now, this company here, uh, the Home Depot, for those of you that don't know, that you're watching from outside of the United States, uh, Canada or Mexico, uh, this company here, this is a hundred and fifty billion dollar operation. Uh, that's their, you know, annual revenues. 
so guys um you know and it's on basically it's on uh, two continents right now the operations are on two continents only so imagine imagine and they have they took their business uh, into Europe and competed with the likes of home base and b and q and juicens and all these other building uh building materials distributors over in europe this operation would be probably like twice the size uh than what it is now um you know but in america it is probably the second or the third largest uh retailer um of any industry i, th I think after walmart um but yeah 2022 uh they turned over uh over 150 billion you know and that's because they have new operations in mexico new operations in canada um and yeah the, the thought of them going uh the thought of them going over to europe is is unbelievable but look at this huge uh huge area here guys um wow and that leads you out into garden because of course uh chicagoland area the spring summer and fall gives these uh gives these operations a huge huge monetary injection uh when it, when it, when the weather turns you know uh but still you see all the aisles busy and it's you know minus 30 degrees outside um i couldn't even say that for britain um i remember in london you know it would drop down to about 30 degrees and and everything stopped <laughs> uh, especially construction um so yeah guys a huge customer service area um are you guys all right <laughs> um thank you man no 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 i took it outside i locked it up and thank you okay okay and uh so yeah this is all in all this is beautiful beautiful big store wow um so yeah guys uh i gotta make a run for the little boys room and so we can't go in there but look at this big huge lumber yard um i mean the turnover of this store must probably be about 20 30 million a year um so anyways i shall leave it with you guys there thank you for joining me and we are still going to the peruvian embassy so i don't think they open until 10 a.m so when when they do open we'll go in and check them out um but for now thank you for tuning back in hasta la ciao ciao bye for now over and out from the concrete jungle of chicago